in at Munich, looking for three in a row. And the black ribbons there signifying a mark of respect, again, for recent events in London on Thursday. Sarah Winkless there, again, making sure that that's all come to fruition. So a lane order for you. Belarus in lane at number one, down to Ukraine in lane two. Great Britain in three. Russia in four. Germany in five. And the Czech Republic will be in lane number six. Alongside me, Gillian Lindsay. This is the event, Gillian, that you won your Olympic silver medal. You know these uh, women here. They just sit ready to going through their mind. We've got Annie Vernon in the bow seat there. I'm sure she'll feel quite a lot of weight of responsibility on her shoulders today, but it, um, they've been looking to play and see. She's fitted in, from what I can see, she's fitted in superbly. Fedotova there in the stroke seat of the Russian boats. They're coming under Stada's orders. Near perfect conditions. And the starter gets them away first time. Belarus then up in lane number one. Ukraine in two. Great Britain in three. A little bit of a slow start there in the first three or four strokes for Great Britain in three. Russia in four. Germany in five. And the Czech Republic in lane number six. And already now that's the crew from Russia in lane number four. They were fourth in uh, the at the Olympic Games last year in Athens looking to move on again Germany have got a new boat in lane number five building up a new crew they are as a country and a nation the Olympic champions in this event but they're building up a new crew and so too are Great Britain and Great Britain in lane number three there's the uh, British crew we're looking left there Catherine Granger Francis Borton there in the uh, stern pair already though down looking down on the, the Russian crew Gillian leading at the moment but Great Britain won't be phased by this well to, to be honest the past few regattas have got off to a fairly slowish start uh, but they've managed to just pull themselves together and uh, they've just reeled in the confidence the experience that all the girls now have you know we're, we're talking about multiple bronze medalists multiple Olympic silver medalists and it's kind of we'll take your pick do you want a couple of bronze medalists on your boat do you want a couple of silver medalists on your boat and here we are and I guess Annie, to a certain extent, has come on so much. Annie Vernon in the bow seat there, she's in, in instead of Rebecca Romero. There she is, Annie. Um, and uh, she, she's doing a great job. Great Britain in third place. No need to worry. It's the early stages. All these crews now moving into the second 500 will just look to find a very quick and easy pace. You're looking for speed for, although they're at maximum, they're all up there, you know, they're powering away, but they're looking for what we call easy speed, letting the boat run underneath, so ready just to step up at the next mark. I would imagine with Rebecca coming out, Rebecca who sits in the bow seat, she normally makes the calls, guys. She normally tells the rest of her crew, Sarah, Francis, Catherine, what's going on, where they're sitting, who's in front of them, and they dominate the race. They have dominated in that kind of fashion. But I'd imagine that Annie's been stripped of that responsibility. She's just been told, Annie, go out there, row your best. And I, I would imagine that Sarah Winkless, the women's, the athlete's representative, the women's captain, if you like, she's probably taken that responsibility on and, uh, and is, is calling the race as she sees it today. Sarah Winkless there coming through. Words of encouragement to Francis Horton in front of her. Catherine Granger in the stroke seat. Now this is a very, very difficult part of the race here uh, because, great, because Great Britain are a length down. Forget what's going on in the white boat. They're a length down on Russia to the right of your pitcher. And once the Russians break free, once you start to get into clear water, then you get into danger zone. I would say that Russia have waited for this kind of lead, this kind of role for quite some time now. They've been third, they've been second, they've been fourth, and they've never quite found that combination, but they have done so today. Through the 1,000 metre mark, it's Russia, Ukraine and Great Britain. Great Britain looking fairly steady. They were slow out of the blocks. There's been no fireworks in the first part of this race, really. They've just done their own thing. Now, though, they're going to have to start to move on because right from the first stroke, look at that, we're right down on the water here. You're getting a great view of the speed of Russia now. Great Britain really now need to start to push on in this third and important 500 metres. Do you know, I'm just, I'm checking my watch and I'm looking, I'm thinking that the rate looks so low and in a quad they should be up at 36, 37 strokes. Great Britain are racing 32, 33 strokes. Russia, who are out in lead by the clear water, they're racing 33. So clearly if Russia are going to be pushed, 
by the likes of Catherine, Francis, Sarah, then Russia have got four or five pips under their belt to, um, to crank it up. We've never seen that Russia just beginning to move out of the picture and now clear water. So it's, it has looked quite sluggish. The Germans are coming up now. The Germans, great sculling nation, you know, now we're beginning to see the Great Britain, the Great British girls, sorry, the British girls being put under immense pressure. Russia in lane four, definitely looking as though they're racing. Great Britain have not looked as though they're in some sort of race here. All they've done is gone off the start, gone into a steady pace and moved. Now they've got to start to move. It's got to stoke it up Catherine Granger in the stroke seat. Alongside them in lane number two, Ukraine. It's really those two tussling out. They've got to forget them, head out front, head for the Russians. They're the race leaders at the moment. Ukraine there, Ukraine. Uh, they won the bronze medal at the Olympic Games, stripped of their bronze medal, Gary, through a positive test and uh, the Australians came in and took that, uh, uh, that, that bronze medal. So Great Britain now moving up into second, the position behind Russia. They can still do this. It's about a length down, that's all. Very easily doable if they now step up a gear. But we've got to move, jump up two gears, in fact three gears, if we're going to come on against Russia. Lane number four, race leaders right from the beginning. Look at the angle across the water here now. Great Britain starting to move back on the overlap. Catherine Granger in the stroke seat, moving away from Ukraine in lane number two. But they know they're going to be running out of water pretty soon. We need some fireworks, and we need it now. That's more like it, isn't it? That looks so much more energetic. A bit more of a sparkle there from Catherine Granger in the stroke seat. You know, I spoke to her this morning. She told me she was ready for battle for today. Like I said, they've been here since Wednesday. It just didn't look lively enough. It didn't look athletic enough off the, off, off the start. And as a result, they're now beginning to pay for it. They've left, have they left too much too late, Gary? Less than 20 strokes remaining. 20 vital strokes. Every single stroke now they put in has got to move the boat, the British boat, much faster than the Russian crew that are leading. 15 strokes and counting it down here now. Great Britain have won two of the three events so far in the 2005 World Cup Series here, but Russia looking like they're going to be too good for them on the day, on the water here at Roxy. Less than five strokes coming up to the line. Great Britain are moving, but not fast enough. Russia first, Great Britain second, and looking at Ukraine in lane number two, coming through in the third bronze medal position, really. For Great Britain, well, we got a little bit excited in the last 500 metres. Great Britain should really have got excited off the start in the first 500. They were just, it just didn't look great, didn't look sort of excitable in that first thousand, Gillian. Well, I don't think it was a bad performance. They've had, it's been quite topsy-turvy for them this week. You know, we can't deny that. Um, on the whole, a silver medal at Lucerne, the regatta, the last regatta before the World Championships isn't bad. Uh, it's it's definitely not where they want to be. They don't want to give anyone an inch going into the World Championships. That's what's happened. Russia have now got the upper hand. They just need to go away. They need to settle it back down again. Uh, but they do definitely need to work on their start. So Russia first, Great Britain second, Ukraine in third. Great Britain, well, they beat the Russian crew last year at Athens. It's turned around again today. Perhaps Great Britain will turn it around again in September at the World Championships.